going to be a rammer day. What is going on guys? Let's start off with this uh, beautiful rammer right here. So today we're actually gonna go uh, meet up with our good buddy Ricky with a, uh, he's actually got a 2021 rammer. And uh, I'm gonna, you know, I wanna go through a couple things. A lot of you guys keep telling me about the 21s and you know, try it, drive it. You know, it's supposed to be much better. Uh, you know, I, I don't know, I haven't even seen a 21. So I'm gonna, you know, get inside of it, uh, look inside of it, see if there's anything different. See if I see anything out of the ordinary. Uh, take it for a drive, you know, see if the shifting feels any different. I don't even know if this truck is a 3500. So I gotta go see if it's even a 3500. If it's not, then there's no point of driving it because I know it shifts good. Uh, you know, and again, I'm not saying these 3500 shift horrible, but I've driven so many 3500s and they all sort of shift the same with this ice. So just put some weight behind it and this thing is happy. But let's go meet up uh, with our old buddy pal, Ricky, and see, uh, go check out his uh, rammer. Look who's arrived, guys. We got Ricky in the house today. Now, Ricky, let's do a little story about Ricky over here. So Ricky was on the channel previously before, but Ricky did not have a rammer. Ricky had a Chevy GM, right? GMC, had an he, had, he had a GMC. So Ricky, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you, brother. We'll come Thank over you. here so we don't get smashed. And I believe we did the video here, didn't we? I oh, know, Fiesta Island. Was it at Fiesta Island? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, just, All right. I just picked up the 2019 okay. 84. So the question that, because I know it's going to blow up in the comment yeah, section, yeah, so yeah. I'm going to have you just answer it now. Why uh, did you get a Rammer? What did you have? A, a 2500? Uh, no, 1500. 50, oh, you had a gas. I had a gas. Okay. Yeah, okay. I had a gasser. So why didn't you go with a uh, diesel, like an L5P or LML? Well, at, back then, uh, they didn't have that new body style yet. So and okay. at that time, I was in a pinch. I needed a vehicle. Okay. And, okay. you know, so that's that's how I ended up getting that truck. Okay. And what made you choose this bad boy right here? This thing's beautiful, oh, by the way. Look at uh, this thing, guys. Yeah. I, like I watch it. a lot of your videos, brother. So originally, I was going to get a 3500. Okay. But because I don't tow enough for me to, you know, justify that. Okay. I ended up down with a 2500, and when I drove this thing, compared to, I was gonna get another 84. Yeah. Uh, but a 2500. Okay. But the only problem became was, for the amount of money you spend a few bucks more, you get all these nice luxuries and, mm -hmm. you know. And here's the other thing too. We just got back, and I was towing the boat back with this thing. You know, for Progressive Springs. It's on point. Oh yeah, this doesn't have the leaf springs in the yeah. back. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Everybody okay. says like, oh, it's not gonna tow, it's not gonna tow well, blah, blah, blah. No, man, I did it for, I think it was about four and a half hours back. Wow. I'm just cruising at 65, I'm not, you know, speeding. And how, you know. how big was the boat? It's a, I think it was a 23 footer pontoon. Okay. Yeah, I'm not All really right. sure, it's my buddy's boat. Okay. Yeah, okay. nothing crazy, so. And have you done anything to this? Because I see all like, you know, all this like color matching. Did it come like that or you no, did no, no. that? No, no, I did that. So, okay. Yeah, as okay. of right now, the truck is bone stock mechanically. Uh, okay. Aside from that, some tint, uh, ceramic, and uh, what do you call this? The, the clear bra. The clear bra. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, you did clear bra. Nice. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Okay. So um, it doesn't look like a Dalmatian. Exactly. Exactly. You know, because I mean, guys, these things, well, you see, they got the aerodynamics of a brick. So it's mm -hmm. bound, I mean, you go I, from the dealership. I remember when I got my Denali, I was so pissed. Went from the dealer to my house, and a nice fat rock chip hit it. So I can only imagine going to Havasu or you know somewhere like that. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. It gets destroyed. Yeah, and I mean you know anybody who's been out to the desert or even to the lake, rocks get flung up like nothing yes. out there. It's, oh yeah. It's like rainwater. Yep. So. And now these lights are stock. No, this is a limited. No, no, I'm saying this like black. Yeah. So the. Dude, so, that's awesome. Yeah, wow. with 2021, the major changes that they did uh, from the 19 and the 20, they changed the fuel filter and then they added the night edition, which is this. So that what comes with like the paint to match grill, headlights. I mirrors, like that, you know, yeah. Everything else. Shit, this thing is nice. Now, when you say fuel filter, what do you mean fuel filter? What oh, I'm sorry, they... not the fuel filter. Um, the CP, what, what was it? Oh, CP4? yeah, you went back to CP3, the so CP3 high pressure now. pump. Yeah. Oh, look at that, guys. See? So that's a big plus. If honestly guys if they probably did not have a cp3 because i mean i already cp3 swapped this but if there's probably nothing coming out i would honestly probably end up getting rid of this and going with a 21 just because the cp3 mm -hmm. i mean it's just the reliability is it's there you know i don't want to deal with the cp4 especially you know with the dpf back kit you know the stuff that has fallen off don't want to deal with that so 2021 ram 2500 it's fully loaded limited mm -hmm. and all you've done so far was just the Color matching. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing else. Wow, look at this thing, guys. <laughs> this truck's supposed to see banks pretty soon. 
But okay. I'm still waiting for them to get back to me when they can uh, get me an appointment. But other than that, um, I mean, there's a lift kit and eventually all that gonna go on. Hence why I want to take a look at your truck. Yeah, yeah, you know okay, I mean? okay. So you're doing, I assume the Derringer probably? Yeah, but the Derringer doesn't come out, I think for a few more weeks or months, I think it was. Yeah, for the Rams. Um, yeah, what I was gonna do the uh, the pedal monster, the uh, diff cover, and the, okay. uh, the intake, but I'm okay. still waiting on all that. You so, mind if we check out the inside? Please, anything? Uh, just yeah, yeah. curious, guys. Anything uh, change? I like this color. What color is this? Like a pearl? Pearl white. Pearl white. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's a little dirty because we just got back. So no worries. No sorry worries. About that. Okay. All right. Look at this thing. So pretty much everything looks identical. Let's see. They didn't really change too much in here. It's got the auxiliary switches. Yeah, so you got everything in this bad boy. Yeah, the only thing that this this truck was custom ordered. I, I waited almost five months for I this. figured, yeah, yeah. Dang, you still got the sticker. How, how old is this thing? Um, Not even a month. Wow. Yeah, not even a month. Wow, how many miles are on this thing? 5,000. Look at that, guys. Yeah, 40, 4,300 miles. Yeah. Damn, this thing is fresh. I don't know if you can smell it. It's, I, I can, I can yeah. still smell it. What, <laughs> what I have, so now, I've noticed in this like center console, yeah. what is there something? Can you charge your phone on that other side too, or because no, mine is just no, okay. Uh -huh. Mine is just all leather. It doesn't have like those bump or not right. leather plastic like that. You, you have the CD player, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure. It's a 19, CD. right? Yeah, why is it 19? Yeah, this one doesn't have a CD player anymore. Oh, fine. Who gives I a mean, crap? I mean, what that a anymore. yeah, what a joke. I'm Sorry, surprised. I'm short. Please, feel free. no, no, this is perfect for Fenny. I gotta come up <laughs> even a little closer for me. <laughs> So, oh, yes, yes, I don't have this pocket. Yeah. Oh, I don't have this either. This Which one? hill descent. Mine's empty right here. Oh, yeah, that's not available on 3500s. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, there you go, guys. So, if you don't have that on 30, that's why I was like, wait a minute. Number mine is just blank right here. That was the other thing that made me come down to a 2500. We do a lot of like wheeling and off roading. Okay. Obviously, this isn't, you know, it's not a rock crawler or anything. Yeah, like that. yeah. So, but this truck, it, it's there. You know, I don't really use it, but it's there yeah. if I need it. Yeah, it's nice, man. You got everything. Oh, this is, this is awesome. Yeah, I'm inspiring to be like you, brother. It's <laughs> awesome, man. Well, it looks like, yeah, they didn't change nothing I can see out of the ordinary, guys. Um, you know, except, yeah, he's saying CD, but I, I'd rather have this pocket, throw the phone in there. Yeah, that's exactly that's, what I do. Yeah, that's, uh, I I don't know why anymore they put uh, CD players in, in any of this stuff. It's, it's completely useless, in my opinion, at this point. Yeah, it's, so. I, I don't know. This is beautiful. I love how there's no chrome. Oh, I know. That's beautiful. Originally, dude. I was gonna get a Longhorn. That's what I really wanted because I love the like the that brown nougat interior. Okay. But I couldn't do that chrome. Yeah, the chrome. chrome yeah. That's like me. My only option. I wanted the limited, but it was all chrome, mm -hmm. and I'm like, all right, I'll just get rid of it. And now I'm like, I can't find. I don't trust anybody. Oh, you and I both. You know. Yeah. To because I keep hearing that you can't paint it, and if they do paint it, it starts to like come apart. I've heard that too. Like yeah, it feels then, weird. Yeah, it starts yeah. peeling, and then they say California. I guess we can't get some chemical to strip it. Some mm -hmm. BS like that. I don't know. I don't know, guys. If anybody out there that can really paint chrome, please DM me because I want to get rid of the chrome, but I, I don't want to deal with it later on. Like I want it one done. You know, if it, if I got to pay a little extra, that's fine. I just don't want to deal with it no yeah. more. Yeah, well, no, I completely agree. One hundred percent. I mean, this thing's nice. So this, yeah, forget these have no leaves. Look yeah. at that, guys. So the only thing this truck wow, is missing is just the the rear airbags because I'm actually planning on getting the uh, the airlift seventy five. The airlift, yeah. yeah. That's why. So when I ordered my truck, I was like, nope, I don't want the airbags. Mm -hmm. I want to yeah, put yeah. my own bags. You know, put the big boys, and I want to have control. Exactly. Of the exactly. bag because these are just they're auto and. Mm -hmm. can't do anything and the other thing too that i noticed with those um like you said you can't do anything with them at least with the airlift you can control how much you want correct if you still want a little bit of rake that's fine you want a little bit of sag it's fine correct and you can still dump your bags at you yeah know, at any time it's not yeah. just one and done that's what's awesome guys is is these things you know i mean i don't know some people you guys might want it but i prefer not to have the airbag or i have it now but i prefer to get the airbags myself than you know purchase uh purchase it with the airbags yeah, you got the spray. Oh, look at that. Mine doesn't have a 110 plug back there. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Look at that, guys. What the shit? Gonna, I got a little upgrading to do over here, folks. <laughs> That's awesome. Can I put this down? Yeah, please. Quick? Shit, I don't uh I don't have that. You guys got anybody out there with a 19 have this? I don't have this. Uh hmm. That's all look at that. You got the fifth one and the 110. Look at this. Yeah, I don't have that, man. Really? Wow, I'm surprised. Uh, yeah. I really am, actually. So I'm wondering, um, well, guys, I don't know. Anybody out there? No, maybe that's not a 
I mean, I, I guess I could add it. Doesn't I don't know how difficult it is, but yeah, you you look at mine and there's a uh, there's nothing. I didn't I didn't get nothing in there. It's just it's empty. Oh, you don't even have a fifth wheel. No, no, I didn't get the, oh, the fifth wheel okay. prep. So maybe that's why you gotta get a fifth wheel prep. I couldn't. Well, here's the thing. To be honest with you, what I found out. This damn truck only has a payload of, I think it was 1,600 or 1,700 pounds. Okay. So it's, you know, once you put all your passengers in and, you know, you throw it on there, it's pretty much useless it, at that point. Low, yeah. I just didn't go fifth wheel. I, I just, number one, I know I'm not getting a fifth wheel. Yeah. So I said I'm not doing it. And number two, if I were to do a fifth wheel, I would do that conversion mm -hmm. with the gooseneck. Right. Because I don't want that massive thing in here. So I'm like, That's why useless. have, yeah, why have all these extra holes? You know, that's the way I look at it. I agree. But I agree. if if you're going to do a fifth wheel, well then I mean yes. Please, you know, yeah, if, if you want the hitch and you want to do it, that's fine. And I know being like mega cabs, we gotta have like the sliders or mm -hmm. else it smashes like that front over there. So you know, I don't know. That maybe maybe that's why you have the one ten. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I don't plan on hooking one up. I, I just figured, you know, it's a few extra bucks. Yeah. Throw it in there if for some reason I sell it down the road. Yeah. It's there. And, and yeah, you might actually, you know, the person that's buying it, I, I, I would assume they would probably rather buy yours than mine because you already have the fifth wheel prep package ready to go. Exactly. I don't. You exactly. know, you have the plug and everything. So I don't have any of that stuff. Yeah. Uh, which, yeah, I completely forgot. I didn't even realize that. So maybe that's why, guys. Uh, well, actually, you here, you, yours is on the 19. I forgot to mention this, too. You don't have a rear camera like I do, do, do you? Up there? The, no, the digital camera. Like I had in my GMC. Mm, no, I don't Here. think so. I don't know. I don't. Uh, I don't think so. Shit, guys, I gotta sell my. Am I missing a bunch of stuff over here or what? Let me jump in on the other side over here. This looks nice. I do really like this whole uh, no chrome. This looks beautiful. All right. Oh, let's see. Man, this looks right. fresh. I like <laughs> them when they're, when they're fresh like this. All right. Start. Ah. Oh. No, I don't have that. Shit. Yeah, I think this is a completely different mirror. Oh, I couldn't tell you. I don't know how big yours is. The only reason I know that is because when I was purchasing my windshield cover, they asked me if I had a digital camera. And I guess, I'm oh. assuming it's because of this piece. I, I'm not 100%. I have this massive piece. That oh. I know because when I bought my truck, I'm like, gosh, this thing is so big. I think they could have made it a little yeah. smaller. You I know? know, I completely agree because this thing now just sits like, Dead set yeah, in the middle I feel, of my vision. I feel like it's like with the technology we have, like really, you couldn't have, uh, you know, added, made the same thing, but made it a little mm -hmm. smaller. So he, uh, which really surprised me, he just said something. Go ahead, tell me what you said off camera. So the high output when you're towing, it's a perfect, perfect, perfect tranny. Which is the Ison. Exactly. All right. You know, comparing that to the Allison, I I think they're they're pretty, you know, close enough. But this one, when I was towing this back with a boat, now mind you, that boat was probably five or six thousand pounds give or take it's nothing crazy this transmission does not know what it wants to do it's really? always yeah i feel like when i was but about, this is a 68 rfe yeah what? yeah i don't know if i just have a bad transmission please somebody tell me so i know <laughs> but you know as far as i'm concerned i didn't like the way it was shifting i locked it out out of fifth gear so it was towing in fourth the entire time what but it was just i don't know what it was doing it couldn't figure it out itself so that's just my own opinion if somebody knows, please tell me. That's crazy, yeah, yeah. because these 68 RFEs, I mean, now, granted, I, I've towed with a couple of them, and I never uh, I never noticed them towing bad. I thought they shifted, you know, way smooth. Now, I don't know if it's because it's brand new, and maybe, That's a good question. Yeah, yeah, actually. Maybe, um, I don't know if it's a relearn, or I don't know if it's something with, you know, I don't, I, fluid, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really sure on that, but, uh, I would assume, guys, that this thing would tow pretty damn good. Now, you know, now mind you, this truck hasn't even had its first service yet. So it's, okay. it's going to be getting its first service in about 600 miles. That looks awesome right there. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> so, I don't know, guys. Uh, let them know. Oh, it's exhaust brake. Okay. This exhaust brake actually acts a little funky, too, once in a while. Really? Yeah. So, I don't know why. Unless I'm in tow haul mode, it doesn't kick as hard as it did when I first got it. That just started happening recently too. Okay. So, but once you click into tow haul mode, no issues at all whatsoever. So the first thing I will see, I will pick up right away, guys, and is this is why I'm trying to regear my truck so damn bad. Is this thing feels like it has more torque than my truck, but because of the stupid gear ratio that I have, if I 
knew that I couldn't re-gear my truck for another year, you know, I, I probably would have never honestly lifted it and put 37s just because I can't stand the gear ratio currently of the truck right now. And I mean, this thing, I can, I can feel it already where it's making, you know, torque, where how it's not, you know, the, the, the shift points are close together. They're not so far apart, you know, where when it shifts, it doesn't go to 2,500 and dump back all the way to 15. So I would honestly guys, and I mean, it's up to you. If you're not, if you're not towing, you're fine. I would leave it alone. But I'm towing and it really bothers me and I've called every company and nobody has gears yet for the 3500. The perk that you can get with a um, 2500 is you have gears. You can re-gear this thing. So if Ricky wanted to re-gear this thing, he could if he decides to put 37s or whatever he wants. He can throw some 430s on this thing and uh, you know be happy. Still have this, I mean, shifting. So, and so like right here, see, I'm at, 80 miles an hour and it's at 1800 my truck when i'm at 80 i'm at 1500 now i know you say it's only 300 but that's a big difference guys 300 it's uh it's it's pretty pretty massive especially when it comes to towing and also this thing for not having leaf springs is extremely smooth it is right very very yeah. smooth i thought this uh the system was pretty rough no of course what i hear it's rough but i mean this thing's no. smooth and the moment you hook a load to this thing, or anything for that matter, it it rides like a Cadillac. It does. Okay. So, you know. Yeah, it's, I mean, this thing is smooth, guys. And, I mean, that shifting right there for me, I know what I told him, but felt great. Um, I will, uh, once we exit here, I'll, I'll get on it a little bit. But, I mean, just from that little hill, that's why I went up that hill, I can feel that this thing shifts 10 times better than an Ison you know with no nothing no on it no weight on the back so i mean i don't know uh, ricky ricky says otherwise he can't stand it <laughs> yeah you know unloaded daily driver which is what i do you know i this thing maybe a few times a year hooks up it's perfect i have no complaints when i throw the dogs in the back nothing and I'm, the, I'm i'm sorry to interrupt no, no. you i'm hitting these bumps here guys on purpose because when i had my 3500 i drove this same exact road with the same bumps when it was stock and you felt it in the back really bad. Like, really, it, it's rough, these 3500s. If you don't, you know, like when I did my lift on it, man, it was a night and day difference. Yeah, it doesn't bounce at all, right? Exactly, yeah. there's no there's no bouncing. This thing is very smooth. Uh, it's, you know, there's hardly any bounce at all to it. So, just, you know, can I kind of pick up on that? If any of you guys live out here in California, we don't have the greatest roads, to yeah. say that matter. And you know someone's gonna comment and say, well, I'll come out here yeah, uh -huh. and come to this place. And, I don't want to yeah. hear it, man. This yeah. truck, there's a reason, has almost four, a four or five thousand miles on it already. Yeah, I mean, I I'm drive trying, this thing every day. I'm shaking right now. These roads are so bad, yeah. especially this one. It's like this is a freeway that so many people go up, and it is this is probably the worst. I mean, mm -hmm. there's nothing but, but I mean, you feel everything, and and don't even tell me it's a truck because I can drive. I've driven an Escalade on this. I've driven, you know, a Mercedes, and you feel it all on this road. Mm -hmm. It's bad and for this thing being 2,500. This honestly feels really good because I remember every bit of my 3500 what it felt like before I lifted it But the best thing about this truck look at that guys. I don't know. Let me try to I'm gonna try to get the camera in here For you, but look at oh, hold on hold on. Sorry here. Look at that Bam CP3 right there. This guy has no issues. No worries That right there is worth a million bucks. If you don't have that I'm sorry guys not saying your CP4 is going to go out uh, a good, a good, really good thing that Ricky does is he does put the Hot Shot Secrets in there. Uh, the, the main thing with the CP4 is just they they need lubricant. You know that's why they're letting go. They have no lubricity. He runs Hot Shot for lubricity. Even with the CP3 guys, I would still run Hot Shot Secrets to add lubricity because in the United States the diesel fuel is just ultra low sulfur and it has no lubricity in it. So that's why it's good to add that. But that's awesome, man. I've never actually seen one in person. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna check this thing out guys, but that's all we got for you today. Big shout out to Ricky for driving all the way out here from Orange County? Corona. Corona, so he's far away. He's pretty, uh, he's not you know down the street. Uh, but I'm glad I got to see his 2021 also. This package is awesome, so I might have to start color matching here quick. But that's <laughs> all I got for you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.